Hey everybody, Wally here, back with another haul video. Um, this is what I found on Thursday, May 4th, or June 4th, I'm a month behind here, <laughs> June 4th, 2015. Um, I was making the rounds, picking up my checks at the uh, antique malls and dropping some stuff off, and I only planned to go to do that and then go to the post office, but then you know how that ends up, I end up going to um, a bunch of sales. And I really didn't have any money with me, maybe 40, 50 bucks. So um, anyway, I'll get into it and tell the story of what happened. Um, so anyway, I stopped at uh, a Goodwill and I got all these little mini helmets, which I put two bucks a piece on those. Um, those were like 10 for a buck. And I don't know, I think there's 30 in there. So $3 worth. Then I got this uh, onion machine for a dollar. It was still in the box for, or I paid a buck for that. So I don't know, I'm thinking five, 10 bucks in my booth. Uh, pay a quarter for this Ninja Turtle lunchbox. It's got a puzzle. Let's see here. I'm gonna open it with one hand. Got like a little puzzle, and I assume that's the scene on the outside of the box. But I assume that's what it goes with. But I don't know. Not familiar with this myself. But anyway, well, let's see. Then there was this mug. I thought it was a uh, Fire King because it looks like Fire King, but it's that glass bake, which is similar to Fire King, but in you know not as much demand. But anyway, it's got some kind of inspirational quote on there. I don't know if that's a Bible verse or what that is, but it was a quarter. And let's see, I got this Gillette Wyoming Stein for two bucks. Uh, let's see, I got this, uh, I can't remember if this was Pyrex. Is this Pyrex? Yeah, this is Pyrex. I got this for a quarter, and then this Pyrex white, plain white bowl was um, 50 cents, so 75 cents for those two. I paid 50 cents for this Stein. Uh, Miller High Life. Uh, this was uh, that was the garage sale. Both those were garage sales. Uh, this was a Goodwill find, seventy-five cents for this uh, 49ers uh, travel mug. There was um, seventy-five cents at the Goodwill for a Chicago White Sox mug. There was a dollar for this Super Bowl uh, mug it's from nineteen ninety-two Super Bowl um, in Minneapolis. Then I got these three bobbleheads. I got this one Jock Jones. I know that was a stadium giveaway from the Twins because I run into that one all the time and I usually sell those for $25 and they usually sell pretty quick. These two, it was the first time I had seen those. I assume they were a stadium give you, giveaway in Chicago at Wrigley Field, but I'm not for certain, but it's the um, All-American Girl Professional Baseball League. And then um, the cool part of the day was I stopped at, there's a... Um, a um, drive-in movie theater that they had converted years ago into a um, trailer court and so they had their little neighborhood rummage today and I've done pretty good at that one like last year and the year before I bought a bunch of beer signs from an old guy and this year he didn't even set up and then but this year was really super slow there was maybe like five or six sales and I just got a handful of little things and then uh, there was a guy that uh, I go to his every year, but he usually just has a bunch of like leather stuff that he makes and then some little wood items that he makes. But this year he had his camera collection. So anyway, I got over there and I just started looking at everything. He had it all on one table. He wanted a hundred bucks for everything. And I just started going through, you know, kind of checking it out. We started bullshitting. And then um, I could tell he knew what he was talking about and he could tell what I knew what I was talking about. So we just kind of like, just started, you know, talking about cameras and uh, he starts talking about Edwin Land and how he was a big fan of him you know with the land Polaroid land camera anyway we just started talking about all that cool nerdy camera geek stuff and then I was like wow I didn't have much money on me anyway because I had already spent a couple bucks and I only left with maybe fifty dollars and so um, he's I, I go well I'm gonna go check out some other sales and I might stop back which I planned on stopping back but anyway He's like, well, I'll make you a deal on him if you come back. How about 75? And I go, well, I'll think about it. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, I'd gone to the bank. I deposited my checks from the, the malls. And I took out a couple hundred. And I hit some other sales. And then on the way back home, I stopped. And then I just bought them all. And I think I got them for like $70. But for the most part, um, there's a, a few of these. They're, they're not really high demand. It's like the the uh, color packs, The um, you know, that are pretty much... They're all pretty much the same thing. The zips are the same body design for the most part. Uh, the swinger, you know, there's a several different like that. I don't know how many, how many was that? Uh, like five or six. And then there's the land cameras. Um, oh, here's another one of the, oops, we'll pull it out of there. The square shooter. You know, those ones aren't as fast sellers as some of the others are. But um, the good ones are, there's some 800, 
land uh, cameras. Oh, what is this one? This is a ADA. And I was going to take them all out, but it's too much work. He's got the flash bulbs in them. Um, he's got, some of them have light meter, you know, the handheld light meters. There's the flash guns, all kinds of accessories, paperwork. There's, um, you name it, the booklets, uh, booklets warranty registrations. Um, and then here's the, the good ones here. There's a, a uh, Spectra, which are more modern, but those have sold really well for me in the past. It's got the box and everything. Um, and then the... SX70. It's got a little mark on there. I don't know if I can get that off, but then it looks like there must have been a tag on it at one time. And it was cool, as like I said before, he made things out of leather. Well, he actually made this custom case and he has his name and everything on it for the SX70. But then the big one, if you're into Polaroids, I got a uh, 250. And I'm not sure as far as the the set here. It looks pretty complete to me. I don't know what it's all supposed to have. But just, I've sold some of just the plain cameras all by itself without any anything, just the camera by itself for, you know, $150, $200. So I got that, and then there's all this other, there's a portrait kit, flash, you know, you name it. There's everything in here just about. So that was pretty com complete. And then the cool part was he had this little booklet, so I'm jumping around all over here. He had this little book that, I don't know, you think he'd want to keep this, but anyway. It's kind of the history of his collection here and it just shows like everything he had like the model number um you know what he got with it owner's manual flash gun you know and then he's got the serial number on it and then where he got it he bought it from this guy may 21st 1983 this one he got at a garage sale may 3rd 1983 you know it goes all the way back to what is this 1968 um you know 1974, 1966. I mean, so it's, you know, it goes back quite a way. That's kind of interesting, but he's got everything documented. I mean, every piece that's with, with all these cameras, all the paperwork, accessories, everything. So anyway, I got all this for um, 70 bucks. I think I can get 70 just out of, easily for the SX-70 by itself, and the rest is all profit. So that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. So anyway, that's my haul video for today. And I have another one coming up because uh, it was another sale I went to today. Um, today's actually Friday, so I hit some good sales. So I'll get that, uh, that video going here once I get all this put away. So stay tuned and watch some more. Thanks for watching. Bye.